Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and I'm super super stoked right now because I have a friend swap slash friend mail package to open. This came from my amazing friend Marilyn, aka Weirdette, and I will link her channel in the drop box below. But if you guys have been watching me a while, you know that she is just like my little sister. I adore this girl so much. She's so amazing and sweet, and her videos are really fun, so you should definitely subscribe her if you haven't already. This package was not due to arrive until tomorrow, according to tracking, but it arrived a day early, so I'm super, super stoked. Okay, first of all, I have to have you feast your eyes on this beautiful, adorable, precious way she packaged it. Look at how she stickered this envelope up. I am absolutely obsessed with it, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to cut up the envelope and save pieces of it and put it in my junk journal because I want to save it forever, although I did actually photograph it as well as shooting this video. And damn, of course, my next door neighbor has the landscaper over now. So sorry for the noise, guys. But anyway, look, especially right here where she did this. Look at, there's me and Marilyn. And I absolutely love it because she is like my sister. So that is so perfect. But she, And she's my like my little sister. So it would be perfect that I would be Elsa and she'd be my Anna. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to cut this open at the very tippy tippy top so I don't miss any of the sticker parts that she did because it is so incredibly cute. I can't even deal with it. I just love it. This is honestly the most beautifully decorated package I think I've ever gotten in my whole entire life. I've never seen anybody go to that much trouble, so I'm so stoked. Like, that in itself makes me smile. But anyway, I'm going to put the envelope off to the side so we don't accidentally get addresses on there. And I'm just going to reach in and see what is in here. Okay, first we have a note. Perfect. I love notes and letters. So let's see what it says. It says, hey sister, sorry this package is coming so late. Life's just gotten in uh, very last week. Okay, okay, life's just gotten crazy, I'm sure is what she meant to say in the last week. So to make up for the very big delay, I added a bunch of extra goodies for you. Also, if I sent you dupes, feel free to swap or sell them. Love you sister, love Marilyn, weirda. And she drew a cute little kitty at the bottom. So fresh. I love you, girl. You didn't have to send me anything extra. You never, ever, ever. I know, I know because you, you're you like me. Like, I feel like if, you know, I tell somebody I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it like right then and there. And if it doesn't happen right away, I feel super, super guilty. But you have nothing to feel guilty about. Please believe me. I'm not that kind of person that I would ever be upset about anything like that. But I get it because I'm the same way. But anyway, I'm just going to reach in and grab things. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Oh my gosh, look at this Tuesday baby. It's a little elephant. I don't think I have this one. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It looks like a little boy and he's precious. And I have both series one and two Tuesdays checklists upstairs. You know what? I'm going to go grab that right now because I want to check and see who this is. Hold on just a sec, guys. Okay, guys, just so you see, this actually, this tin that I got from the Dollar Tree, I think think. Yes, it's still got a green briar tag on the bottom. It's what I keep all of my checklists and my packages. And by packages, I mean for things like figural key rings that don't come with checklists. And the only way to mark them off is on the back of the packaging. I keep all of that stuff in this tin and it is freaking loaded of uh, loaded, loaded, loaded with stuff. So I'm going to hit pause again while I dig for my twosies list. I just wanted you guys to know that, yeah, the struggle is real when you collect nine million kinds of toys. So let me see if I can find those lists. Hold on a sec. Okay, awesome. I actually found this Tuesday baby and it is not a boy, it is a little girl and her name is Nellie. And she is from the Two Adventurous collection from series one. So I do not have her hooray. So I'm gonna fill in her little circle. This is what the little section looks like where Nellie is. She's right up top there. But I'm so excited. And Nellie is, let's see, pink hearts. Okay, that means she's a common, but that's quite all right because I don't have her, so I'm very stoked. And she's so precious. I love elephants. I just think they're so cute. We're going to put her off to the side. We'll put her over here. Okay, let's see what's next. <gasps> Ooh, and there's a Toozy baby. I'm so sorry, not Toozy baby, Toozy pet. 
and it is a little pony and it's so cute it's got a little gray mane i love it i love it i love it now this one looks slightly familiar so i may have that one already i do this one is carter and he is a little boy from the two wild collection but that is quite all right i do not mind having a dupe as Marilyn said in her note, I can swap or sell or more than likely gift it to someone else because I don't tend, I do swap sometimes. I really don't sell often. I've really only sold once. And that was because I had a bunch of Tsum Tsums that a friend of mine really wanted for a collection. So, but um, yeah, we'll see. I, I'm just so stoked with him anyway. He's super, super cute. Ooh, now we have a bunch of bananas and this is a Shopkin. And I know this is the series because it's got the barcodes at the bottom. This is the Chef Club series. And I just so happen to have my 9,000 Shopkins checklists right here. There we go, Chef Club season six. And I'm almost positive I do not have those bananas. I don't, that is bunch of bananas. And that is a common, but who cares if it's common or not because it wasn't common enough that I had it so I'm super stoked so 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 cute it's the only season that I know immediately upon looking what um, what season it is because again they're the only ones that have these little scanner code things at the bottom okay they have them in different recipes on here so that's why I wanted to just check it off in all the places that it showed Bunch of Bananas. But I love it, I love it, I love it. It's always awesome to have a new Shopkin to add to my collection. So thank you, my love. And look at how cute with the little wink. It's like Chiquita Banana, it reminds me of. It's so cute. Yay! Okay, let's see, let's see. There's so much stuff in here, girl, oh my gosh. Okay, this is, oh my gosh! This is another Toosie pet and I know I don't have this one. It's a little snake. I'm so scared of snakes in real life, guys, and I hate that I am. I'm trying to get past that fear because, honestly, I'm starting to truly understand that if you don't mess with a snake, snakes are generally not going to mess with you. It's not like they're going out of their way to be aggressive. I mean, if I saw a snake in the wild, I'd, I'd flip out, but if you give it its space, it probably would give you your space and you know I shouldn't have this irrational fear of them but anyway this one is also from season one and his name is Rolly or Raleigh depending on how you want to say it R-O-L-L-I-E he is a boy and he is Ooh, is he a rare he is a rare very cool well that makes me happy that's super super cool Yay, and he's super cute. I'm assuming he's probably supposed to be, I think Cobras are the ones that have these markings on their foreheads, but I could be wrong about that. But he's super, super cute. I love him. There's so many goodies in here, oh my gosh. Okay, it feels like another Toosie baby, I think. It is, oh, look at this one, and this one's a little snake too. But it's not the pair with that snake, that's interesting. Okay, so let's see. That one is from the Two Wilds collection, and this is another dupe, but again, doesn't bother me in the slightest. This one is a little girl, and her name is Curly, and she is a rare, which is awesome. Yay! Okay, let's see. There's so much stuff. My gosh, girlfriends, you spoiled me as usual. She always does. She's ridiculous. Okay, oh! This one's so cute. It's another Toosie pet. Look at that beautiful bird. I love the colors, of course. I like the detail on this, too. Like, you can actually see, like, the it looks like feathers on the wings. And the face is so sweet. Oh, I love this one. Oops, I love this one. Let's see if we can find this one on the checklist. Okay, blue birdie, blue birdie. Let's see. This is season one or series one, season one. So I always get confused if it's season one or series one because like it's weird to me that they call it a season unless there's actually like a television show that goes with it and there isn't with Toosies as far as I know. So I would say we'd call it series instead of season but that's just me. Okay this one is a little girl and her name is Talkie and I do not have her yay and she is let's see the pale pink means she is a common but again 
that means literally nothing to me. Like, I mean, it's cool to get stuff that's rare and ultra rare, but if it's something you don't have, who really cares what the rarity is? It's new to you, so yay. I love that one, so sweet. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. It feels like another juicy cut, I think. Oh no, oh, this is a My Mini Mixie Q. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, look how cute she is, you guys. Oh, I like her. Oh, it looks, it's like she's got like a little kimono on. Oh, okay, let me get to those lists. I do have my My Mini Mixie Q lists in here somewhere too. Uh, you know, sometimes hoarding does have its perks. Not often, but it's nice when you have all your checklists. Let's say My Mini Mixie Qs. I know I have them in here, okay. There's a few series that I've gotten from. I've gotten from series one, series two, and the Aqua Box assortment, which were the ones that I found at the Dollar Tree. Only saw them once, and they're only like, what are there, 12? 18 in that collection. And she is not one of those, which is cool because I do have that complete collection. So let's see, there have been more than two series and then that one, but I don't have checklists for them. I I think there have been more series than that. Let me check season. Oh, see, this does say series. Okay, series one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for the dress primarily because that'll probably be easier to spot than the hair because sometimes they have similar hair. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not seeing her in series one. So let's see if she's in series two. If she's not in series two, then obviously she's a later series and I do not have a checklist, but that's okay. I can look it up online. Okay, here she is. She is a series two. She is an everyday from the adorable collection and hers is called Pink Wrap Dress. See, it looked like a kimono to me, but I guess a pink wrap dress could technically be like a kimono because you do, you know, that's the style of how you wear them. She's absolutely adorable and I didn't have her. So yay, I'm stoked. I love her. So we'll keep these handy too in case there are any more my mini mixy cues in there because there's lots of goodies still. I'm so excited. This is so super fun. Okay, let's see. What's next? What's next? Oh, <laughs> somebody's hair popped off. <laughs> so there's another my mini mixy cue in there that's bald. Let me see. I don't want to look in the bag. I think I think I just found it. Yes, I did. Okay. I'm assuming that this hair goes with this one, and this one looks like a little doctor, I think. How precious is that? I know you can't really get the detail. I'm sorry, my phone won't focus well, but you can see like the little stethoscope around. It looks like a girl to me. I think that's a girl around her neck, and let's find her. Let's see, that, that one was series two, so let's start with series two. I know Marilyn was lucky enough to find some My Mini, My Mini Mixie Qs at her Dollar Tree too, but hers were not the same. They were not the Aqua Box assortment. I think she found Series 1 or Series 2. Let's see. Okay, I have one that says Doctor, but that's not that one. So let's see. The outfit looks the same, but it is a different skin tone and a different hair color. She could have just mixed up different pieces, which is totally cool too. I think that's really fun to do when you have duplicates, especially if you don't necessarily have somebody to swap with. You can just go crazy and just mix up the, the hair and the bodies and just put the outfits on different ones. Okay, it is definitely not from the Aqua Box. Let's see, series one, series one. I'm trying to find that hairstyle on somebody else. I think that might be what she did. I think she might have just gone. Yeah, I think that's what she did because it, it looks like the doctor outfit and it looks like the hair from Boss Guy, but then the actual skin tone looks like it could possibly be like Selfie Girl. So I'm not sure. This might just be a like a you know unique creation, but I love her regardless. So I'm, I'm gonna call her her because she looks female to me. But I don't care, I love her, I love her, I love her. And she's definitely new to me because she's unique in all the world. So that's very awesome. Okay, let's see what's next. Next up we have another adorable Toosie's pet. And this is a little kitty cat. And I know I have a kitty cat, but I 
don't think I have one in this color. So let me take a look and see. Do, do, do. We'll start with series one because I have more series one than two. So if it is the one I have, it's probably on series one. Well, I'm trying to check both checklists at the same time because I know this is making the video longer for you guys, but I like to solve the mystery and see who I have. Hmm. Why am I not? I see several kitties, but I don't see one that looks like that. Okay. Let me try this again. Mm -hmm. I see leopards. I see lions. I'm not seeing a kitty cat, however. All right, let me try this one. Let me try series two again. And again, it could be that there's more than two series out. That could very likely be, and I just don't have the right checklist. Because I'm not seeing this kitty on that one either. Interesting. Okay, so for now, that one is going to be unidentified. Because I definitely don't see it. I will have to look later more in depth and see if I can find it somewhere else. Because I don't think there were more than two twosy um, checklists that I own. So I'm going to keep that one aside and identify it later. And if anybody's interested, I can update you in the comments if you want to know who it is. Okay, let's see. This is another twosy baby. Oh, is this a donkey? I think it might be a donkey. Oh my gosh, so sweet. That's adorable. Okay, let's see. That should be easy enough to find, that bright yellow with the purple mane. So let's see if we can find that one. Do, do, do. Yellow animal with a purple mane. Where are you? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm just having the worst luck right now because I'm not able to find any of these. I was doing so well. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. That is a little girl, and her name is Penelope, and she's from the Two Wild collection from series season one, and she is a new one to me. Hooray! I'm very excited about that. She's super cute. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's next. Okay. Oh, we have extra. Okay, wait. We have extra hairdos. So wait, I could have put the wrong hair on the wrong character because I have two other my mini mixie cues out uh, hairdos. So we'll we'll put those aside for now. Then we have another two Z pet. Oh, this looks like a toucan. I think that beak reminds me of Toucan Sam from like the Fruit Loops commercial. So I think that might be a toucan. Let me see if I can find that one on my checklist. That one I know is new. I've never seen that one before. Okay, that one is a boy and it is a rare and his name is Beaky. B-E-E-K-Y. And he is from the Too Noisy collection. I can see why because if Toucan Sam is any indication, they are very loud birds. But that is a little bit of a better look at Beaky. So cute. Okay, so I'm keeping the unidentified ones or ones I might have perhaps mixed up in a separate spot. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is this? Ooh, another Shopkin. This is another one from Chef Club because again, it's got the little barcode thing at the bottom. And, and that way I know it's season six. Let me find that list and find out who that is. That is, <laughs> okay, it's a little, looks like a bucket of ice cream to me. So that's what I'm guessing that probably is. Vanilla tubs. Yes, that is vanilla tub. So it's a tub of vanilla ice cream and it is so cute and I don't have it, hooray. Vanilla Tubs is a common, but I love it because I don't have it. Oops, I'm almost marking off the wrong one there. Okay, so Vanilla Tubs, I just want to see if it's on more than one recipe, which it probably is because ice cream would be a common ingredient in lots of these recipes, I would imagine. 
Yep, there's vanilla tubs again in the banana split. And okay, oh, so I have chalky tubs. Okay, so I have the chocolate ice cream tub, and now I have the vanilla tub of ice cream too to go with it. Very cool. This is so super fun. I hope you guys aren't bored because I just love like doing unboxings with friend mails and stuff and I, I'm just having the best time so I hope it's fun for you too. Okay, this feels like another um another Tuesday baby and it is oh cute. See this looks like the toucan too, but it's a different color. So I mean there could be more than one toucan unless it's some other kind of bird, but it's absolutely adorable. But see it's got that very colorful beak again. So let's see. So that would not be a pair. But let me see if I can find that birdie. Do, 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 do. Let me see where you are. Um, hmm. Okay, that is a little girl, and her name is Tiki, and her little pet's name is Taki, and she is a rare from the Too Noisy, again, Too Noisy collection from season one, and she's super cute. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see what's next. Okay, next up we have, ooh, another My Mini Mixy Q. She's really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's adorable. I wish you could see the detail better. She's holding the Mattel shopping bag, so I know I've seen this one before. I don't know if I have her, but I know I've seen her because I think she's actually called Mattel Shopper or something to that effect. Where did I put my checklist? Okay, let's see. I think she was a season two, series two. Gosh, I keep getting them mixed up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. For some reason, I kind of remember... Marilyn opening this one. Mattel Shopper. Yep, that is... She is a dupe, but I do not care. And actually, her hair looks completely different in this picture. In the picture, it just looks like it's solid brown hair. And this one's definitely got distinct highlights. So I don't know if she got, like, a variation or she just switched the hair. But I really love her. And I'm going to be curious now to check with the other one I have to see if she has the same hairstyle. But I'm super, super stoked nevertheless. So that's awesome. Let's see. There's still a lot of goodies in here. My gosh, girl. All right. Next up we have, oh, yay. This was the actual thing we were swapping for. It is a medium on a Tsum Tsum and I'm so stoked because I believe I have one Anna already. I don't remember if she's large or small and I'm not actually even 100% sure if I have an Anna, but I love her. Her dress is beautiful. You can see her little freckles. I hope you can, probably not because my camera bites, but she's absolutely adorable and I love her. And I have like 9 million Tsum Tsum checklists, but I actually have a master list that I printed out on my computer and um, I actually made a Word doc so I could keep up to date with all the new seasons as they're added rather than having to just mark each checklist. Cause like, I don't know if you, if you're not a Tsum Tsum collector, you wouldn't know probably, but like, Season one will have a certain number on the collector's guide. Season two will have a certain number, but a lot of the season ones will also be on there. So it's like you have to mark off multiple lists and you don't remember technically which season you got yours in or series. So I don't even really mark those lists anymore. I just keep them as, you know, because I'm a hoarder. But I'm going to mark Anna off on my master list when I get upstairs later because... Oh, actually, my purse is behind me on the counter. I could do it now. I'm just going to get up and do it, guys. Don't mind my back view for a minute here. But, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. It's easier. But, yeah, this is my crazy, crazy list. I cut the paper as narrow as I could, and I write next to them that they're alphabetized, and I write small, medium, or large, S, M, or L. And if they're ones that are like really like special collections, like the ones from the advent calendar say that only come in one size, I typically write just, um, you know, I just put a check mark next to it because I'm pretty sure that they only come in one size. So let me see, Anna, I do have a large Anna. Okay, so now I have a large and a medium. That's so awesome. Okay, this skinny part of my Sharpie is running out, so we'll do it in 
the fat side. Okay, cool, 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 yay! So yeah, that was legitimately what I was expecting and nothing else. So this is cuckoo crazy that she gave me all these extras. I'm so stoked. Okay, we have another My Mini Mixie Q. Oh my gosh, she is adorable. I have never seen this one before, so I know she's new to my collection. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Let me see. I'm going to start with Series 2 just because I have a feeling. I I don't know when Marilyn started collecting them. I think she honestly started collecting these when they had them at the Dollar Tree because she was able to get them for such a good deal. So I think she probably has mostly seri uh, Series 2 ones. Let me see. Okay, no, I thought I saw her. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing her. She could be serious one. I know I could be pausing while I do this. And I apologize to those of you who are like, yawn, this is so boring watching you check checklists off, Carrie. But I know some of you enjoy it. So I do it for those of you that have fun uncovering the mysteries with me. And I apologize to those who don't like it. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't see her anywhere. Oh, no. She could be a later series, possibly. Because I'm almost, I know I've never seen her, so she's not an aqua box. No, I know I've never seen her before. I'm trying to see if I can find her hair or her outfit. She almost looked like the roller derby girl, but I don't think she is. Hmm... No, she's definitely not the roller derby girl. I don't know. I'm going to have to check her out later, too, because I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So I'm going to keep the ones that I'm confused about off to the side, and I will definitely double check on those later. And if you're interested, I can update in the Dropbox. And if you don't really care, then I won't bother. I'll just do it for my own peace of mind because I want to know. Okay, let's see what's next. What's next? Ooh, another Shopkin. Oh, this is so cute. It's a can of corn. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I, and I know I don't have it. It's another season six. And it's so great that these are all season six, that they're marked with those barcodes because it makes it much easier for me to not waste too much of your time checking checklists. I know at least which checklist to go for right away. But that can of corn is absolutely adorable. And I love that the silver is actually like shiny and metallic like a real can would be. That is really one of the cutest ones I think from this season and let's see let's see where is Mechanicorn and I'm gonna find what the actual name is it's not on the front page <laughs> sweet corn okay sweet corn is an ingredient in the fried rice she is a common and I don't know why I made her a she but I did but I absolutely love this one. It's so cute. I'm so excited. All of these Shopkins are new to me. So that's freaking awesome. And there is, I'm feeling about four or five more things at least in here. So let's see. Oh, here's something in a package. Let's see what this is. Oh, shut up. I'm so stoked. Okay, you guys don't know unless you've watched Marilyn's channel. But Marilyn, a.k.a. Weirdette somehow ended up with two duplicate kawaii boxes this month. She thinks she placed two separate orders. I was all stoked at first because I was like, oh my gosh, you lucky duck, because I thought that they screwed up and sent her two by mistake. So I was like, yes, girl. But she's like, no, I actually think I put two separate orders in by mistake. So she got some items that were variants and some that were exactly the same. And this was one that was exactly the same. But look at how cute these clips are. They're Disney princesses. They're so adorable i mean i don't know if they're technically supposed to be disney princesses but the one on top definitely looks like snow white to me the middle one looks kind of like cinderella and the bottom one i guess maybe would be sort of like Belle. i don't know but they're absolutely adorable and i knew she had a separate a, a second i speak well a second set of these and I am so stoked that she shared them with me because I didn't get the box. I'm getting the box for the next month. I haven't gotten it in several months because, honestly, I only get them when I get referral codes that you guys use. 
if you guys use my referral codes it helps discount the box for me it discounts the box for you and honestly i just can't afford to just do sub boxes all the time so um i was saving up referral codes to get a box so i'm getting the next box but i didn't get this one and i love those clippies they're so cute thank you honey oh my gosh this is so cute it is another oh my gosh i'm getting confused Toozy, <laughs> the Toozy animal well creature i guess non-human because it is in fact a bumblebee so it is not an animal it is an insect and it is absolutely precious i love it so 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 much and i don't know if you guys know the story of bumblebees i actually learned this from joan rivers and i learned it from watching joan rivers on qvc rest in peace joan she one of her favorite things that she used to use in her designs for her jewelry was was bumblebees and because apparently bees are aerodynamically built so that their weight is too heavy for their wings to be able to allow them to fly but yet they can anyway so bees actually represent overcoming obstacles and overcoming the odds for a lot of people and i think that's a beautiful story so i actually really even though i'm deathly afraid of bumblebees i've never been stung knock on wood but my father was allergic to them, so I'm really, really frightened of being stung by a bumblebee. But as long as they leave me alone, I think I like the, think the symbolism of that story is fabulous. So I really like bumblebees. So I am super stoked to have that little one. It is so cute. Let me see if I can find it on here. And let me just, I'm just going to put in my early bet that its name is going to be Buzzy. I could be wrong, but I just have a feeling... Oh my gosh, nope, I went a completely wrong direction because th actually the baby that goes with that Toozy is named Honey, so the bumblebee is named Potz, P-O-T-Z, which is actually really cute. And Honey is a girl, and Potz is a girl, and they are commons, but they're, they're awesome. I love this bee. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's see what's next. Another Shopkin, and this one looks unfamiliar too. What does that say on there? It has writing on it. It has a word. Hmm. I don't know. It has a word on it, but I can't read it. But it's another Series 6 because it's got the barcode on it. And my friend Jen Beetle Babe told me what the barcodes are for. I honestly don't remember what she said they were for, but she said they're not even, like, useful, really. So I've never, like, I don't have, like, one of those barcode scanner things on my phone. So that's irrelevant to me. I, I, I think it might unlock, like content for like if you play a game there might be like a Shopkins game you can play online or something but I couldn't care less about that that's just not I'm not into that but um anyway but it, it is it does make it easy to find which season they're from because that's the only season that has those barcodes okay so it is a it's a green veggie or spice or herb coming out of a purple bag okay oh i do have this one darn but that's okay because this is actually a rare this is poly parsley that's so funny that i have her because i don't remember having her so she will go in my swap pile which is awesome if anybody you know i, I swap with anybody down the line or do you know do gifties or whatever i have an extra poly parsley now so yay okay let's see we're getting to the nitty-gritty here you guys i feel one two three four i think there's five things left this is a lot of stuff girlfriend oh my gosh my bag is gonna look so small and inadequate now but anyway oh okay this is another adorable toozy baby it is a giraffe and i love giraffes i don't know if i have this one shoot yes i do but that's okay again doesn't matter to me this one is a little boy and he's from the two wild collection of season one and he is named lofty and he's so cute i love giraffes i used to be able to feed them at the local zoo i lived near when i lived in florida and it's so cool they had like these big probably about yay big like wafer cookies that you could buy and they would just eat them out of your hands they had the longest tongues and they would just like li they, occasionally they'd lick you when you were trying to feed them and it was just the coolest they encouraged you to break the cookie up so but not too small so you could you know kind of have the experience last longer because if you give them that whole cookie believe me they're gonna whoom, just take the whole cookie but if you've never had the chance to feed a giraffe it's definitely an awesome thing to do it's a lot of fun Okay, let's see. We have another Toozy pet, and this is a little zebra. So cute. 
with the little purple mane and the little stripes. Adorable. Maybe that was, no, I think that is a donkey that I had before. I was going to say these two could possibly be a pair. That would be really cool if they were. But nope. Daisy is Penelope's pet and Daisy does not have stripes. Oh, but that's okay. I actually have the Tuesday baby already that goes with that. That's awesome. They are boys. Zach is the zebra and now I have Bandy, which is his pet. So I've now completed a combo, which is awesome. It's always nice to be able to find a partner to go with your Tuesday baby or pets. So they'll be reunited, yay. Okay, and let's see, there are two things left and they are both, okay, well that worked out perfectly because they are two, uh, my mini Mixie Qs without the hair, which explains the two extra hairdos. So let me see who goes with what. So let me move these twosies over and get my my mini Mixie Qs list back out and see if we can figure out who these are. And I also could have put the wrong hair on the other ones. The doctor one I might have because that one didn't have the hair on it. So let's just take that hair off too and see if we can figure this out. Okay, we'll start with series two again. I'm just gonna look at them without the hair with just the outfits and see if maybe that helps me identify them a little bit easier. Okay, it might not actually, but we will see. They might not even be from series two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that is definitely the doctor outfit. But that is not on the one that is the doctor. That is the doctor hairdo, though. Okay, so this is definitely the doctor hair and the doctor outfit, but she is a different race than what's in the picture. And they don't generally do variations like that, but that's okay. I don't care. She's my doctor. And there she is. She's super, super adorable. And then we have, let's see, this one looks like it's got a Mattel logo again, but it's a Mattel logo on his cell phone. Okay, that is, Bo okay, that's Boss Guy. Okay, and we did have Boss Guy hair, so that makes sense. Okay, so this is Boss Guy, and I don't have this one. Whoops, let me get the hair on. See, the hair does kind of want to pop right off of these, so that's why they fell off in the envelope. But that is Boss Guy. So he's like the Mattel CEO, I guess, or something. That's really cute. And Boss Guy, I did not have. He is from Series 2, the Bold Collection. And he is an everyday. Okay, so this hairdo must go with this one, I would presume. And it looks like she's maybe a tennis player or a golfer with that little visor on. My initial thought was tennis, but it looks more like she's holding maybe a golf scorecard or something. It doesn't look like she's holding anything to do with tennis. So let me see if I can find her on there. De definitely some sort of an athlete, I would imagine, with that visor on her head. Oh, no. I was... Oh, okay. Yes, yes, I was right. That is golfing girl. And I do have her already, but again, doesn't bother me in the slightest. Just goes in my swap pile. She is super, super cute. And yeah, that is it, you guys. We have five. Oh, no, I was wrong. There is one more item. There is one more Shopkin in here. Oh my gosh, and I know I don't have this one either. It's so cute. And once again, it is Chef Club season. Oh my gosh, Marilyn, you are ridiculous, girl. I can't believe how many goodies you put in here. I'm so stoked. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know I love you to bits. Let's see who this is. Okay, it is a red bottle with yellow, like liquid dripping down and almost, okay, there's a bumblebee it looks like on the front. So that is runny honey. Oh, that's so funny because the one I almost checked off for vanilla tubs because it was right next to it. I put a dot on it. Now I have that one so I can complete the check mark. See if you look right there. I would put a dot because I thought I was checking off vanilla tubs, but now I have both of them next to each other. So that's actually really couldn't have been more perfect because now that would have bothered my OCD. Like, oh, now I have a dot and a space of one I don't have. That's going to drive me crazy because little stupid stuff like that really is enough to like tweak with my head sometimes. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. And let's see, Ronnie Honey is a common, but I love her. And once again, I'm making it female. I don't know why I assign genders to specific toys. I just tend to do that. 
And more often than not, I make them female, and I don't know why I do that either. Just one of the great mysteries of being Carrie, I guess. But anyway, you guys, so that is my massive, massive, massive friend mail from the awesome Marilyn, a.k.a. Weirdette, a.k.a. Little Sister, who I love, 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 love you to bits and pieces. You are so amazing and awesome. And I, again, apologize that my package is small and inadequate, but, you know, I'm not the first person to utter that line, I'm sure. <laughs> Hopefully not to you, because you're 16. You shouldn't be hearing that line yet. But anyway, I love you so much. And thank you so much, everybody, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I definitely did. And I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.